Hi, I'm Sherry Zhou, the Housing Programs Manager for the City of Quincy Department of Planning and Community Development. In recognition of National Community Development Week, we wanted to take a moment to highlight the Office of Healthy Homes. The office administers several housing programs, including First Time Home Buyer Assistance Program, Lead Pain Abatement Program, and Housing Repair Program. In this video, we would like to highlight one of our programs, the Lead Abatement Program. Before I talk about the type of assistance that we provide through the program, let me talk a little bit about lead. Lead is a metal that has been used for thousands of years to make a variety of products and is part of our world today. Being exposed to too much lead can cause serious health problems. But the good news is that lead poisoning can be prevented. Childhood lead poisoning is one of the most common pediatric health problems, such as learning disabilities and behavioral problems yet it is entirely preventable. The most common sources for lead poisoning are lead contaminated dust, peeling and chipped lead paint, and contaminated soil. Lead is found in most homes constructed prior to 1978 because most of the paint used back then was lead based. 75% of Quincy homes fall into this high risk category and are likely to contain some lead based paint. Our lead abatement program offers, offers financial assistance to property owners and tenants to remove lead-based paint hazards in the home. The program pays for all costs associated with lead abatement in the form of a five-year forgivable loan. And our staff provide all the supports and resources you need to make your home less safe. There are no payments and no out-of-pocket expenses from the property owner. Properties that qualify for the lead abatement program may also be eligible for a supplemental healthy homes grant for up to $5,000 to address health and safety issues identified in the pro property. Typical improvements to your property include new windows and doors, radon remediation, correct trip and fall hazards, upgrade carbon monoxide and smoke detectors, installation of exhaust fans, railings, and much more. Once the work is complete, a state certified inspector will issue a letter of full delaying compliance for your property, certifying that you're in compliance with Massachusetts lead laws. Now let's take a look at one of our recent projects. In this before and after, you see the mold in the closet removed. This is important because exposure to mold can cause several health issues such as allergy and irritation. In this before and after, you see an exhaust vent was added to the bathroom to get rid of excess moisture, humidity, odors and other pollutants. This was extremely important to keep this room dry and it prevents further mold growth for this home. In this one, you see the existing roofing was being removed and replaced with 30 year shingles. This is important because be, having an old roof beyond its useful life can cause many problems for your home. And in this home, the lease coming from the roof had exacerbated the mold issues. If the roof is not replaced in time, further damage may occur in the building structure, for example, that will end up with additional expensive repairs. The owner of this house gave us a, a testimonial in Chinese, which was translated here. I quote, this is a very good program. This has helped our family solve so many problems. It has made our living environment more comfortable and healthier. Sincere thanks to all the staff in this program. Hope this program can help many more families. And that is our goal that the Office of Healthy Homes strives to ensure all people who live or work in Quincy can afford a healthy, attractive home that meets their needs. A good home provides the foundation upon which individuals and families thrive, children learn and grow, and communities prosper. If you're interested in any of the programs that I've mentioned, please contact our office. Our contact information is shown on screen. We're available Monday to Friday between 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Thank you for watching this video and we hope to hear from you soon.